Hey y'all, Dan with the Southern Paddler Channel here and welcome back to day two of Black Creek in Southern Mississippi. We're waking up on Black Creek here in DeSoto National Forest. It's a beautiful morning, got a little fog on the water. Now we know today is going to be our big mile day and by big miles what I mean is the whole trip's just 30 miles in three days. We have about 22 left so we don't really know where we're going to stop, but we know we want to get the biggest chunk of those miles done today. So tomorrow, which will be Sunday, we can have a fairly easy day and just kind of take it easy as we finish out our trip. But still, even with that, we probably didn't leave till 9, close to 10 o'clock in the morning. So we're just sitting around camp here in the morning and waking up, enjoying some coffee and breakfast and warming up by the fire. And we're about to get started on day two on Black Creek. Here you go, Dawn. Okay, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Divide and conquer. <laughs> like who? Divide and conquer. He don't remember what he said. You said like Moses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm a man of faith, and there's nothing in my life more important than that. But one of the blessings I believe I have from God is trips like this. The beauty, the peacefulness, the serenity, being with good people. This is an absolute reset for my mind and body, and I love it.
know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Day two is probably one of my favorite days on the trip. You've camped overnight, you've woken up, and you've gotten on the creek here, and you know you've got a whole day of paddling and another day tomorrow, another camp. It's just, I love it when I know that I'm out here and I'm out here to stay for a day or two. We are having an absolute blast on this creek. We're stopping here just because we have the time and because it's such a beautiful rocky bar. We're just going to have a little snack, enjoy each other's company a little bit. And then when we feel like it, we're going to get back on Black Creek and ease on down a little more. Well, it's about 1.30 and we're taking our second break for the day. We're going to call this our lunch break. So we found us a nice sandy bar and got some shade here. And we're going to eat us some snacks. And, uh, oh, wait, this happened too. <laughs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> so yes, I went for a dip in the water, and it was cold. Oh, my goodness, but it felt good. <laughs> it was fun, so we're going to get back to eating. Hopefully, everybody hasn't lost their appetite at this point, but uh, we are having an absolute blast on this creek, and we're going to finish our snacks here and just enjoy this incredibly beautiful weekend. The whole weekend was just amazing. The weather was great, so we're going to finish up eating us a little lunch. We are in no rush. We are taking our time. And once we get done filling our bellies, we're going to get back on the water. Yeah, that's right. They bottomed out and we couldn't do it. But that was the... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's right. That's one with the on <laughs> daughter. Yeah, keep that one on the list, Charlie. Yeah, I want to. I want to see that. It's a, it looks like a big old bird, like a buzzard or something. Look up! <laughs> <laughs> GoPro, stop recording.
You see those steep banks on the left? And then over on the right, they're not as steep, but they're pretty thick and overgrown. That makes for great paddling and great scenery, but it doesn't make for good camping. <laughs> but I'll spoil it. We do find us a camp spot. But I'm going to save that for the next video. So the third and final video will be our camp for this evening and then waking up the next morning and finishing up our trip. But for now, let's just end this video with some scenes from the last few miles of our paddle on day two. Let's go, y'all.